first project, uh, the arithmetic of Alponian circle packing, is essentially a number theory project that explores the congruent classes uh, of the curvatures of the Alponian circle packing and what relation they have to satisfy based on the congruent classes. So essentially, the Alponian circle packing is a configuration explored by Apollonia of Perga and is obtained by adding tangent circles in the interstices of mutually tangent circles and it is, uh, it is quoted that given any three ten mutually tangent circles on a plane one can always add exactly two other circles that are mutually tangent to the other three so if you could visualize it, it would be like with like one large circle and then like three mutually externally tangent circles and there will be a very small circle in the center and how this could be proven it's by inversion and I wouldn't go into the technical bits here because it's quite a classic proof and essentially from the curvature of the Aponia circle packing we get a relation which they have to satisfy and it's called the Descartes equation and the Descartes equation is what I will be exploring throughout the entire project and regarding the congruence classes, integer solutions to the Descartes, solution, Descartes equation have to satisfy. Because the normal theory aspect is also pretty like um, technical. Because this thing is a recurring sequence and it's also uh, can extend out to infinity. So it is assumed that the solutions to the Descartes equation are, are all integers. And I won't be like necessarily going into the infinity of things, but more like the congruence classes which it has to satisfy on a lower level, slightly lower level. So the equation that I'll be exploring, which is the Descartes theorem, is, is of the form uh, bracket k1 plus k2 plus k3 plus k4 uh, close bracket square is equals to 2 times k k1 squared plus k2 squared plus k3 squared plus k4 squared. And as you can see, that's kind of like a Delphine time equation. And if you look at only integer solutions, it is a Delphi type equation that is intended to further explore. I have a few conjectures from it. It's by my observations of the equation and how it works, and it's quite it's quite non-trivial. But I also won't be like going through the details of it because it's mainly math and a lot of numerical expositions. To prove these, I mainly use uh, Chinese remainder theorem and famous little theorem. Yeah, and by by the end of it, I try to come up with kind of like a fixed pattern for it. For instance, like how how the if the curvature satisfy a certain parameter, they can then be like you can then apply the operation to it to make sure that the the state where you transition it to is also a solution to the Aponia circle packing. So kind of construction I came up with was that if the curvatures are like 0 and a squared uh, a plus b squared plus b squared that is able to we are able to then uh, obtain every single perfect square as the curvature that satisfy this um, construction that's in this construction and how you get this is by applying the operation repeatedly for instance you have like 0 a squared b squared a plus b squared and you make it to 0 a squared b squared uh, a minus v squared and eventually when you map like every single uh, sum of the square to the um, difference of the square you are able to preserve the state of it being a perfect square but you're also eventually able to make sure that it reaches 0, 0, 1, 1 after a finite number of moves and after this you can eventually show that the process is reversible and thus you, you are able to get every single perfect square as the curvature inside this particular construction yeah so essentially, I think the main point of my project at first was to connect it to a higher level, level uh, topology which is called a Conway's topograph. It's something invented by John Conway sometime in the 20th century and it's about mainly primitive uh, quadratic uh, forms. And it's quite similar to this in the sense that this is it's also like a construction and you get like um you have a base of it. Like if you imagine a base as the starting certain configuration and you get a base and you're able to extrapolate it uh, to even more of the same form such as the Aponia circle packing however I don't I think due to the time constraint I wasn't able to quite make the connection between um, uh, to obtain an actual transformation from the Aponia circle packing to Conway's topograph so my project was mainly like a more in-depth discussion into something that is quite arcane and something that is quite unknown for 
that part of circle packing. I think there are definitely like a further expansions I could make to the project. Like for instance, if there are any sufficiently large integers that have to satisfy the congruence classes of like a particular group, and also can re reoccur as a curvature in the circle packing, that answer is quite. That question is quite open and has not been explored yet. Yeah, there's not. A lot of literature done on the project which is why i felt that it was very interesting and it go into something really deep and came out quite fruitful even though it might seem on the spot that there wasn't a lot of useful application but i couldn't quite make the connection to the higher logic higher order topology that'll be the end of it thank you